double digit value. <laughs> Hey guys, here's a uh, video of the complete uh, Williams 1979 Stellar Wars that I restored. And it's in pretty good shape. I've done quite a bit to it. So I guess I'll just walk you through. So I had to touch up the play field. Um, I've got a play field protector on here to protect uh, pretty much what's left of it. I had to do some touch ups. They literally wore off before I got this play field protector. So that's lovely. But it gives a nice shine. And... It plays interesting. I like it. Um, a lot of you purists probably would not be a huge fan of it, but yeah, I had to do that. There were quite a few uh, switches not working, so I had to go ahead and clean those up, and I, I decided just to clean them all. And uh, had uh, some drop target issues, some missing solenoids, and uh, uh, what else? Um, a lot of them weren't registering. Uh, I had to kind of cobble these plastics together the best that I could. I actually washed them and cleaned them all up. And then I got these. Uh, a lot of your peers also wouldn't like this. I decided to get the silver acorn nuts just for a little bit of bling. Um, what else? Uh, flippers had to be aligned. Um, and I'm yet to get some, uh, what are they called? Rule cards. And uh, that's pretty much all I had to do for the play field. Looks very beautiful. Uh, let me get underneath here and show you a little bit of what I had to do. So, down in here we had this knocker solenoid. If you watch my other uh, informational video, it was completely fried. What happened was the, uh, the uh, I believe it was the driver board locked up or something like that. And they just kept playing it, kept playing it, kept playing it, kept running it, kept running it, kept running it. And everything completely fried. Um, so, those are my old boards just for keepsakes in case I need any spare parts. I put a new soundboard in there from Kohout Enterprises from penpcb.com. Um, up here on the play field, flippers needed some adjusting, and then I uh, went ahead and put some new diodes on there. They were both fried. Both fried. I uh, needed a new fuse. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I replaced this solenoid. This one, I uh, fabricated my own uh, plate here. Uh, reset plate that's what it's called and then the bottom panel here um what else uh, a couple more solenoids needed to so it was that one and that one i believe and then one more i don't remember where it was but they ended up being the solenoids for the flippers i might have actually ordered the ones for the drop targets but i got those but it's fine they run just fine i just reverse the polarity they're a little bit stronger um, and then I had to install, I, I got sick and tired of those stupid horseshoes, so I installed some NMP sensors. It's pretty simple. You just, uh, you replace, I believe it stands for North Magnetic Pole, but let me know in the comments down below if you know. Uh, you just basically uh, glue the magnet into the drop target, and this little sensor down here will sense the magnet, and that'll take care of your scoring. And I had to solder all those in. Uh, let's see, that's pretty much it for underneath the play field other than you know cleaning everything up like i mentioned um i got some leds i forget the name of the website but i'll leave it in the description uh, i didn't like the L led flashers so i just installed some of these uh regular light bulbs uh, let me go set this down and i'll show you what i did with the backboard so the back glass is pretty much irreparable and I don't feel like getting another one, so I went ahead and didn't run the lights in there just to help preserve it. I'll probably put some, uh, I don't know, construction paper or some, uh, just some plexiglass underneath there to help. Because it is a mirrored backboard, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, let me pull it apart really quickly. So here's the Wolfpack tech displays. Um, it's a do-it-yourself kit, so I had to solder all of these myself. Very proud of that. Probably about a thousand of them, but they look beautiful. There was no red left over, so I had to get the orange, but I think it ended up working out okay. They look really, really good with the color tones of the back class. Some more LEDs. I did keep in the computer controlled LEDs for obvious reasons. Um, so back here, uh, three more brand new boards from Kohout Enterprises. 
This one's really cool. It's got the built-in multimeter and everything like that. So up in here, I just cleaned all the connectors. Uh, that's quite a bit more work than you think it would be. But those are done. Also, these Williams, for some reason, they did not fuse the rectifiers, which could cause a house fire. So that's not very fun. So I went ahead and fused those down there just with some basic uh, fuse holders. I forget exactly what they're called, but I, uh, I went ahead and replaced all the fuses and the, the rest of them left over as well. And I did in the boards, but I didn't end up using the boards. So let me shut this really quickly and I'll show you how it looks, show you how it, play, uh, show you how it plays. And then probably later on I'll post a uh, higher quality video of it. <laughs> it playing, of course. Here it is on, working. Those orange displays are absolutely gorgeous. Um, dang, I gotta clean that back glass. My cats and my siblings' grease fingers get all over it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll cut real quick and uh, we'll play a game. Show you how it works. Yes, that is my high score and I'm very proud of it.
double-digit value.